Dear Mr Examiner by Gareth Owen Thank you so much for your questions. I've read them most carefully through, but there isn't a single one of them I know what the answer to. I've written my name as instructed, put the year, the month and the day, but after I'd finished doing that, I had nothing further to say. So I thought I'd write you a letter, fairly informal, about what I can see from my desk here, and about what it's like to be me. Mandy has written ten pages, but it's probably frightful guff, and Angelina Smythe is copying the answers off her cuff. Miss Quinlan is marking our homework. The clock keeps ticking away. I suppose for anyone outside, it's just another day. There'll be mothers going on errands, grandmothers sipping tea, unemployed men doing crosswords, or watching Countdown on TV. The rain has finally stopped here, and the sun has started to shine. And in the back of the garden in Sefton Drive, a housewife hangs the shirts on the line. A class files past to play tennis. The cathedral clock has just peeled. A more chugs backwards and forwards up upon the hockey field. Miss Quinlan's just read what I've written. Her face is an absolute mask. Before she collects the papers, in I've got a sort of favour to ask. I thought your questions were lovely. I've only myself to blame. But couldn't you give me some marks for writing the date of my name?